Hey, good afternoon, guys. We're sitting up here in Kansas. Uh, we are overlooking one of the summer giant food pots here. And this thing has just flat amazed me on the, what uh, has provided vegetation-wise. This stuff is so thick in here, but those deer have been absolutely hammering this stuff there. But this uh, yellowing flowering plant right there, that is what they call sun hemp there. There is the soybeans in here. We got a ton of okra. Uh, earlier, I found um, one okra, or actually there's two of them. They were about that big. I wish I would uh, find some more of that stuff, but it's just all over here. Uh, we have some uh, sunflower seeds, or sorry, sunflowers back in here. Oh, here's some good okra right here, right there. I don't know if you guys, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me just pick one of those pods out, out up. But there you go, right there. But the ones we've seen, and there's one that's two times as big as that right there. But uh, it has really been very impressive there. This thing has got sun, sun hemp, uh, buck, um, buckwheat, it's got uh, sunflower seed, uh, sunflowers, it's got soybeans, it's got okra there. It's just got a tremendous amount of vegetation uh, for these deer there. So our steps to uh, plant this stuff, we went ahead and uh, workhorse sprayed with 41 glyphosate there. Cornerstone's a great product there. You guys get nicks of hardware. And then uh, two weeks later, came through there, ran through here with the uh, tough line disc, came in here with the ATV, knocked that thing out, and then I uh, broadcasted this stuff out there and we were off to the race as you guys can see. So if you guys are looking for a good quality summer food pot there, this particular food pot right now, what we're actually doing is we're cutting a strip that's probably gonna be 20 uh, or 15, 15 feet, probably 15, 20 feet wide. And basically what we're gonna do is put buck salad on this particular food pot for our fall and winter uh, progression and allow those deer that can continue to utilize this particular food pot all the way through uh, you know, until they stop eating it, and then we'll start establishing maybe a little bit more uh, frost seeding, some cold grazer rye, whatever we got available available there from Nixon. So hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature. Like always, best of, best of luck on your upcoming hunt.